The first chord is called an A minor. We're going to take our pinky and add it to the third fret of this high E string right here. And that's called A minor 7. The second chord is a D major chord. The third chord is a G7. So normally we learn what's called G major like this. But we need this note to become the first fret on the high E, so you can't really do it with this fingering. So we have to go like this, put a ring finger on the third fret of the E string here, middle finger on the second fret of the next string, and then index finger on the first fret of the high E right here. Check it out. So that's called G7. So, so far we have A minor 7, D major, G7, and the good thing about this G7 is we're going to go to a C major chord next, and the way our fingers are lined up, it's actually not going to be too bad. These two fingers scoot back a string, and this one scoots up a string, and you get a C major chord. And then we're going to play the final chord. It's just it's a, it's a walk down, and it's kind of part of the C already. You just take your ring finger off, like that, and then move your middle finger up, to the second fret of the A string, and this is called C slash B. So with this A minor seven, it's the open A string. We go two, three, four. And with the D chord, we're gonna strum this open D string. The G seven, we're gonna pluck this top string. Then we go to the C chord and we pluck the A string. Then the A string again. And if you want all these chords diagrammed out, you can uh, sign my email list and I'll send you the ebook that's got all these chord diagrams in it, and it's totally free.